Hi everyone. I hope uh, I'm catching you at a good time to do a little crafting and a little chatting and maybe even a little bit of laughing. <laughs> this is Lisa Hardin coming to you live from the Stamping Zoo on a thundery night. Um, I hope you're all doing well. We are having crazy weather in the United States and Canada. Um, so it's a great night for stamping, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> I'm staying right here. I do have some things I could do outside, but you know what? They will wait. They will wait. That's totally fine. So uh, as a few of you are jumping on, I'm just going to chat with you for a minute and just say hello. And it's so nice to see you. Hi, Jean. Yes, the beautiful peach sweet. We are going to chat about this for just a minute. And there's Nutsy Nancy. Hi, Nutsy Nancy. I haven't seen you for a few weeks. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Ann. Oh, from the front porch. <laughs> now that it's cooled down to a balmy 96 or whatever. It might be less than that. I don't know. But um, hi, Lori. How are you doing? From beautiful Ohio. Jean's hot. And they're going to get hotter. Yes, Jean. <laughs> And watching from hot Alberta. That's not something we say all the time, is it, Jennifer? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's probably hard on you. See, Idaho, Boise, Idaho gets a little bit of hot. We are in a semi-arid condition. But um, I think we're going to have quite a little stretch of it. Hi, Sherry. Oh, good. It's just 73 degrees today. Excellent, Nancy. I like hearing that. So as you're all popping on, um, uh, of course, I do want to say hello, and I hope you're all doing really great today. It is Thursday, and I've had a really, a bit of a crazy week, but the one kind of nice thing about that, right, is that all of a sudden, it's Thursday, and <clears throat> as I've told you before, Thursday, and my time with you is one of my favorite times of every week. So here we are. It's here already. I'm being watched by a dog. I came in here with a few bites of chicken, and so now I'm under surveillance and possible lockdown. But the chicken's gone, people. Like, say, move it on, Cash. The chicken's gone. <laughs> but he'll just watch me quietly. Tango would be in here uh, talking to me. So... At least he's not bothering us. <laughs> it does look pretty out my window right now. Um, but I'm not going out there. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> so I have this in front of you. Doesn't this look beautiful? Oh, I would love to be eating those peaches right now. But we can do those. We can stamp peaches any time of year. And one thing I'd like to uh, mention to you is that I do an online card kit every month and this month it is going to be featuring the sweet as a peach stamp set dies papers and more beautiful stampin up products so let me show you where you can read more about this i won't tell you every single thing because i have told you before about it um unless you're new and if you're new welcome so it is all about getting crafty on your time and you can choose from two different ways to participate a fast pass which is a tutorial and online access only for $15 available worldwide or the VIP access which includes everything card supplies product goodies that's Stampin' Up product new current Stampin' Up product okay you get the access to the video tutorials and a written tutorials and it is called a charmed car kit because you get a keepsake charm and i just i remembered to grab mine this is the first one probably got some fingerprints on it here but this is the first one that i ever offered i did start this just about a year ago so when you order the vip access charmed kit besides all of the great supplies you get to make eight cards with envelopes um, you also get a laser engraved silver round charm. I'm trying to show it, but you know how they're, they're super shiny. Um, so anyway, I choose the sentiments every month. I work with this great lady online and she makes them just for me. They are exclusive to the month. Okay, so 
you know, if you participate that month, you get this charm. Otherwise, um, that one's gone, and then we move on to another one. But the first month that you participate in this, uh, I send this, this kind of a necklace to you. So it is stainless steel, so it's not gonna rub off on your clothes. <laughs> okay, nothing but the best for you, frankly. And um, so anyway, it's just, it's the way I make these kits very unique to me and the Stamping Zoo. And um, it's just a little keepsake for you to have, plus all of the cards. But when you give the cards away, you know, you can still have the necklace. So I hope you will please give it a try, whether you are in the U.S. or somewhere else, because even if you are uh, in Canada or another country, you can still get the written and the electronic tutorial. And of course, I send you a handmade thank you card. So if you would like to know more about that or to sign up for it, please just jump on over to thestampingzoo.com or look, you can call me right there. I'll answer the phone, but not right now, okay? <laughs> I had someone try to call me during Sunday's live and she was watching and then I was like, no, not right this minute. So I appreciate the um, enthusiasm, but you know, we're doing this thing right now. Then we'll do something else later. <laughs> so anyway, please take a look at that. You, if you are interested, you need to sign up by the 10th. And um, these are not included in the price of uh, the VIP access of $39. That is not a possibility. However, you can easily add these onto your order by just letting me know directly and I will just invoice you and then everything will come in one package. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, I would love to send you one. And um, it's just, just lots of fun. So yeah, I was kind of surprised when I saw that it's been like about a year that I've been doing that. It's very surprising. Time flies, right? Okay, the other thing that I wanted to mention are the zoo days of summer. So this is just one um, graphic from that promotion. This promotion is running through September. And essentially, I'm gonna draw for a winner every time I sell $200 in Stampin' Up! product. That applies to Paper Pumpkin and it applies to regular current purchases. So if you are um, participating in my BOGO sales or the Charmed Card Kit, those do not apply to this promotion because they have their own promotions, right? They have their own like free product, necklace, um, all that other stuff. But I'm throwing in as much as I can. And then at the end, well, I mean, when I reach $200 every time, I'm going to draw and give away a $30 gift certificate. So you just get to turn around and, and get some more fun, cool stuff. Anyway, if you would like to participate in this, it's super easy. All you have to do is, again, go on over to thestampingzoo.com or call me if you would like and place an order through me. First of all, I would love it, and I do a little bit of a happy dance, um, which I won't show you right now, but um, you are supporting a super small business of one. And um, second of all, then you get some beautiful product, and then you get a chance to earn even more product, okay? There will be a grand prize drawing at the end of the summer, but that depends on the total sales I have. So just know I'm going to do the very best I can to make it really fun. Like, I just, I can't wait. So I thought what we would do right now, well, I had a great idea of popping on here and we're gonna mark down the sales I've had so far. However, I went online to get said sales and um, this is also the day that pre-order went live for demonstrators. So, um, the website was giving me some trouble. I don't know if that was just mine or in general everyone's, but you know what? I kind of know where the orders are because, um, I have, we've been through a round of paper pumpkin and stuff like that. So let's see, let's mark this off because I've got to keep, I've got to keep track of this. Because as soon as I sell $200, I get to have a drawing and I can't wait. I don't know if that's the color I want. I think we need a blue. Yes. I think we need a blue. 
let's use, um, how about Bermuda Bay? Or how about Coastal Cabana? Do I have my host code posted? That's a good question. I think I sent it out with my email, um, but Jean, I will post it if I have not done so. Yes, thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Um, so, let's see here. I know at least we have, oh yes, that's a good color. I know we have a hundred and forty. Okay, so um, we're in the range. We might have another 20, but I can't remember if I'm in the 150 range or 160 range. Lots of numbers going through my head right now. Anyway, just know that when we get 60 more dollars on the board, I'll have a drawing and I'll give away $30 of product. And you will uh, be responsible to pay the tax, should you have tax in your state, and the shipping. But you get $30 of free product. Just think about it. That is, let's see, that would be three combo packs of markers or six blends, right? Just as an idea, you don't have to pick blends. You can choose anything you want. You can choose eight. Well, you could choose almost eight of these liquid glue if that's what does it for you. <laughs> okay, so anyway, it's gonna be really fun. And um, I will update you like every week here for sure and periodically on my email and stuff. So, um, if, but if you ever have a question as to like how far we are, you can also earn extra choices or earn extra um, chances into the drawing by doing different activities. Like if you invite a friend to a class, the, a friend that hasn't been to my classes before, you get an extra chance. Um, so anyway, there are two or three different ways to earn extra chances, and then those chances just go into the drawing whenever they kind of occur, right? So, um, anyway, there's lots of different ways to kind of load the deck in your favor. <laughs> and, um, it is for United States residents only. I am sorry that I can't sell product to anyone else, or believe me, I would, right? But anyway, okay, so that's how this promotion works. And um, this is actually very pretty in color, but I was, was afraid it was gonna suck up all the blue in the printer. <laughs> so um, you just have to pretend, or better yet, go on over to the Stamping Zoo and you can read all the details about it. Okay, well, I think we're gonna jump into a card right now and we can talk about other things like that, other fun stuff as we move along. Now, you may have caught me on Sunday which was a pop-up live, right? That's not my normal time. This is my normal time. But I was just having fun. I ha I got to see my my Stampy customers um, on at classes Friday and Saturday night here at my house. It was so fun. Definitely the first time in you know well over a year. And these were two of the cards we made. And so I wanted to make them with you also. So we had fun. <laughs> coloring and laughing about these cards. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna make the other two cards from the class. That will give you an idea uh, of what kind of cards I make for my classes. So these were the other two cards we make. So we make four cards at my stamp camp. And everybody makes, you know, everybody makes their own. I have samples. They can, um, they can make them with or or as designed or totally different, right? So these are the ones we're gonna make. I think we're gonna start with the sweet strawberry because it's just so pretty. Now this, I actually cased out of the catalog. I couldn't improve upon it. It was so friendly and showed off the strawberries so well. So I really like it. I hope you like it too. And um, I will show you where it is in the catalog. Cause that's always fun to know. Now let's see if I have, these were kind of some leftover. <laughs> I always cut extra for my classes, right? So um, in case I have someone that wants to join late or, you know, sometimes we need a fresh piece of paper to stamp on. So anyway, um, it's always nice for me because then I have at least usually one set of supplies 
for my own kit or for my own cards. Let's see here. Sweet Strawberry is carrying over from a mini catalog from last year. It was so popular that um, the punch was not available for in excess of a couple of months. <laughs> so I think, I'm guessing, um, of course I don't know this for sure, but it still has a 10% discount on it when you purchase it as a bundle, you know, and that's really nice because I think there was a long period of time where lots of you wanted the bundle, but it just wasn't available. It happens in our world today, doesn't it? Okay, so here it is. It's on page 43 of your catalog. If you do not have a catalog, you live in the United States and you would like a demonstrator to go along with the catalog, please let me know. I'd be happy to send this out to you. You can have this, your very own copy, in a few days. You don't want my copy. It's all tabbed and special cryptic notes all over the place. So anyway, this is the stamp set. As you know, the shaded images denote that there is a punch or a die cut for that. And so you get several of these images um, able to be punched out with the punch, right? This is some of the best sentiments, I think, that we have. It's just so fun. <laughs> so anyway, I was, in fact, I used, I think, one of these stamps set or one of these sentiments for the next card we're going to make. So they just fit in with, uh, with lots of different styles. Anyway, and here's this card. Ooh, love it. So pretty. Okay, so let's just crank this out. This would be a really, I think, a pretty easy card to make for multiples if you were going to make, you know, 10 birthday cards, which I kind of need 10 birthday cards for July. It's one of my family's months, uh, birthday months. I don't know if your family seems to be like that, but our birthdays center around July and December and January. And then we have a couple randoms, you know. We got a March, we got a June, but other than that, it's kind of that. So anyway, I need lots of birthday cards in July. Masculine and feminine and all around. Uh, I would give this to a guy, why not? A brother or something? Okay, um, the paper I used is I don't have a sample for you because there's too much to show you. It's out of that Pattern Party paper pack. Say that fast. I'm just gonna show you kind of what it looks like. It's getting cut up every week because every week I'm finding a reason to use this paper. You are gonna want this paper. You, you are. I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, let me put this in here for a minute. Isn't that beautiful though? I love that stripe. So one side of all of the paper, first of all, let me verify the name. Pattern Party, yes, Pattern Party Designer Series Paper. Just, you know, as a little sample, I will show you. So one side of the paper is all black and white designs. So you get 48 black and white designs and you know we love those because we can color them we can use our blends we can of course leave them black and white and then the other side are all these great patterns what else right there seem to be several kind of um ones that strike me as rainbow colors or just bright varied colors and then there are some that are just you know like a solid we used this piece of paper for the girls riding the bike. And then of course today, the paper we're gonna use, let me just show you the little slice. We're gonna use this beautiful black and white gingham and then it has this yellow floral on the other side. So anyway, you will not find this in the regular, when you are looking to buy this paper, it's a special pack of paper, right? So you have to buy it in a special way because normal is boring. Let me find my catalog and I will show you. So it's clear back here in the host and join section where some of the best things hide. 
<laughs> okay, so on page 170 and 171, these are items that you can purchase if your order is $150 or more. That's when you start earning some rewards. So on a $150 order in the United States, you get $15 to spend on something. And that might be some of this stuff. Now, I, I think you can purchase this with a $150 order because it's $18. You might have to do $180 though. I'm not quite sure on that. But just know that you have to spend a certain amount of money and choose this as your host reward. You can spend your host rewards on anything you'd like. You can spend it on, on storage things or paper or embellishments, but these you can't buy. So they're always a little special, right? So we've got these three stamp sets and then this paper. <laughs> and the paper is like kind of knock it out of the park and we could purchase this as demonstrators it was an increased price but we could purchase it at the beginning and I did and I thought it was still it was $30 and I still thought it was a fantastic deal so um, anyway please keep your eye on that now don't forget like you can get to these amounts of parties by having a party with a couple of your friends right just put in an order with three, four, or more of your friends, and then you're gonna to start to get all sorts of fun benefits. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Uh, see, I wondered if you could pay the extra $3. They give you a little bit of leeway on here. So Kathy says, you have to spend 180, but you can order 150 and pay the extra $3. Okay, thank you so much. What are you doing, Leslie? You're jumping around? Oh, oh gosh. I saw that you, it sounded like you had got a new device. So, oh my, I'm resisting. Um, not that I don't love new technology, but of course I don't like syncing everything up. Even with Apple, there's still a few things. So, why don't you do it first and then you tell me all about it. Okay, so long story short, you can buy that paper. You will not regret it. Do I ever steal you wrong? No. All right, let's do a little stamping. This is a photopolymer stamp set, so I do have my paper piercing mat out, and I am gonna put that underneath my scrap paper here before I start stamping. In particular, these images are really this, um, strawberry is really an ink intensive stamp, right? It's got a lot of ink on it. And so I think in order to get a really great image, you really need to use the paper piercing mat or something underneath it. Okay. I am using the kiss principle on this. There are lots of great images in this stamp set, but we're just going to use the strawberries for this time. We're just going to get something with the most punch, aren't we? Let's see, is that big enough? Eh, no, I can't really see through it. How about this one? I love that we have so many different blocks. And there always seems to be one that's just perfect. Um, let's see, I might just use a bunch of C blocks, it looks like. Okay, so these, if you've never used photopolymer before, Get yourself some. They're see-through. They start clear and they do stain a little bit. Don't worry, little one. That's okay. You can see right through them. So, um, and they don't affect your stamping at all. So that's all right. They're still, they're still fantastic. Hello, Anne Marie and Mary Ellen. Very nice. Oh, Sherry says that's going to be on her order. The paper, Sherry. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, so Anne Marie is here, you know, she has Gidget Louise and I was laughing because she said Gidget Louise got the naughty award today at the groomers, <laughs> but I wasn't making fun of her because my, you know, sweet, never do anything wrong. Kids are going to the groomers tomorrow. Now I've never gotten a horrible report, but I do think sometimes the groomers just keep that stuff to themselves. 
I really do. So here's a um, basic white thick card base. That's the best for your card when you're going to have your card bases, um, white card bases. You want them to have a little bit of room to, or a little bit of strength to them, so your card doesn't fall over. So that's why we have the white. I mean, you can use it for other things, but that's its primary use in this house. Now, I just used Poppy Parade because I love it, because it's a bright, of course. <laughs> yes. I get you, um, Anne-Marie, sometimes the groomers do just have like a look and you know, like they're saying, oh Lord, come get this dog. <laughs> so I hear you. It's all right. She wasn't feeling it today. She is full of sass. So she just wasn't feeling it. One thing you need to do when you are looking at punch stamping and punching things, I always like, especially when it has multi images, right? I always like to do a dry run. So I'm not really gonna punch this, but I'm going to see like how this fits into the, how the stamp image is situated. Okay, so like the pointy part of the strawberry is facing inward. That's how I'm going to stamp to make it the easiest to punch. And actually, I've already done this a bunch of times and taught my ladies how to do it. So I know that to get these, oops, I already did that wrong. To get these strawberries, you need to do four kind of in the corner of a quarter sheet of paper. The one thing I wasn't doing was I stamped off the inside because I'm going to use the same poppy parade for the outside. So using first and generation stamping ink, is a great way to stretch your ink colors, right? So this is second generation stamping, where you put it on the paper a second time. Now we're going to take this one, the outside, the outline part, and do first generation stamping, since these are clear. Now, of course, I'm not right over it, but if you were stamping it, you would be right over it, um, because you wouldn't have a camera where your noggin is supposed to be. And I actually like it when they come off of the color a little bit. I think it looks like, you know, some fancy silk screening or something. So anyway, that's how these go together. Okay, oh, so cute. I wish it was that easy to um, make beautiful, or yeah, to make beautiful strawberries to eat. Look at me conserving cardstock. Yes, you know to just use it like I don't have them anymore, even though I do have more. <laughs> but um, thank you so much, Tony. And Tony just popped on and reminded me. Guess what I'm gonna remind you? Please like and share and comment and um, do all those great things that help my business. It helps me, well, first of all, it makes me smile when I get off of here to see how many shares. Um, and there's never as many shares as there are comments or views. And I wonder like, why is this not being shared? Why do they want to hurt me so much? <laughs> That's not really what I wonder. I only focus on the positive, right? I only go, look at how many shares. Um, but sharing the videos and the other projects that I do, it's just a great help to my business, right? And this is my business. So um, when you tell a friend about it, you never know when they might be my next customer. Okay, so again, I am eyeing what the punch looks like, and I'm going to kind of copy that to some extent with the stems. Now, again, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I've already done this, right? I already worked out the kinks. But that's why you're watching me because I already worked out the kinks for you. Yes, all the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. And thank you for sharing. Look at those shares. Oh, I'm gonna get to have to get the mini, I'm gonna have to get um, whatever I used before where you could see my face because I'm very happy. <laughs> Trust me. 
Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I know. Ross says she's thankful. Her dogs love the bath <laughs> and they tolerate their nails. You know what? When I got the dogs, I um, gave them baths every Sunday for six months. At first, I was, I'm embarrassed to even say this. So they're having these and they have drop coats. And I thought I was going to keep them in full coat. And that's like just not even realistic. Because, you know, if you have those kind of dogs, they're like Swiffers, right? They're like reverse brooms. They sweep everything up outside and bring it inside. That's not how, that's, you can't live like that. <laughs> so anyway, but the one thing that that really did was help them get used to all that stuff. So thank goodness. Um, when I wash them and dry them, they, you know, they hang out. Because you know if they didn't want to, they wouldn't I have to chase them down. So now I'm just punching out all my little pieces. There is a way to situate your stamps so that you can punch them out at the same time. I have done it on some videos before. And you know what? I'm sure I'll do it on some videos again. It involves the handy stamp apparatus. The other thing is sometimes when you get to the end of your paper that you don't, you're kind of being lazy and you don't want to stamp again on a new piece of paper, you just make a handle. And these are those great post-its that I buy that are fully sticky. So you just make a handle with your post-it or I don't know, some other thing. But anyway, then you can feed these through. Seems like I have to trim it every time. That's okay. Yep, they're Swiffer dogs, only they don't work like you'd hope they would, Kathy. <laughs> yes. I remember they just, like in the fall, there were like leaves everywhere after I came home one day and I was like, they never told me about this. I do remember that um, I met this groomer that I did not think was very nice, frankly. I just met her in oh, this little like pet boutique place. They didn't sell dogs. Just want to make that clear. But they, they sold everything for dogs. Anyway, and I told her that I wanted to keep them in full coat. And I remember she laughed it at me like, oh, you don't know what you're saying. So then, of course, what did I do in my mind? I was like, oh, I'm keeping these dogs in full coat. But, you know. I have to admit, that was a foolish idea. So, long story short, they go and get their cute little puppy cuts. See, now this is why I put it on the corner because I don't want the other images right now. And see, even that one is like really close. It's okay. You've got to get a little hand strength behind this one because it's um, going through four different, you know, it's making four different image punches. And so sometimes you gotta tell it who's boss there. And then finally we have this one because I put three on the front and they were so cute that I thought I wanted one in the middle to, or one on the inside, one in the middle. I guess it's the middle, you know, beginning, middle, end. So anyway, now we pick our strawberries, right? So easy. Birds haven't eaten them. There's no bugs on them and they're all perfectly ripe. I love that. Okay. We've picked our strawberries. Now I'm gonna, let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And you know, I'm making it a birthday card because I just told you every time I'm turning around, right? I can't throw a rock in, in um, July and not hit somebody with that has a birthday. So I am using pear pizzazz. If I didn't mention that before, I do, when I'm using, when I'm making the stems, I did like stamping it directly onto pear pizzazz, but you could also stamp it onto white. I just thought it looked very cute. Someone just said, oh, Amy, hi, Amy. Your Westie drags so much in from outside. Yeah, I know, they do. I mean, it's part of, you know, they're not robots. They're not a Roomba, um, which I'm also thinking about getting, but I'm afraid that the dogs 
would attack it. So you don't need to comment about that now unless you want to, but if anybody's had an experience, good or bad, let me know. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I think Cash might get anxiety, and I think Tango might try to play with it all day. So, <laughs> hello, Lisa. I haven't seen your name come up from a long time. Lisa Kingdon from Manitoba. Hello. It's nice to see you. Okay, now I think, yes, we're finished with the stamping. Oh, this, I love this because look at this, this little touch of like gossamer ribbon. This is that beautiful metallic mesh ribbon. It first came out with a Halloween suite. And then we all kind of realized, oh, um, this stuff is like super fantastic. So it has a little bit of a spring in its step here. So you can pull it out and almost make it look like, you know, web, right? Spider, spider webs, silvery spider webs. But of course here, they've just used it as a beautiful little pop of shimmer behind this sign. I mean, our sentiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that, get it out of our way. But it's beautiful ribbon, again. Um, I think everything I'm using right now is out of the annual catalog because of course we have a new mini that went live today. Ask me if I was ordering at 6:45 this morning. Why? Yes, I was. <laughs> and um, yes, Kathy loves this ribbon. Good. You have a cat that would ride around in the Roomba. That does not surprise me, Anne Marie, because your animals really are full of personality. One thing I did with this ribbon before I attached it that I think helped it kind of have a little bit of body, I guess, for lack of a better way to describe it, is I just tied a simple knot in the middle of it. It helped it to gather rather than just lay flat. Okay, so just one more way you can kind of play with it. It's very malleable. You know, you would think that this kind of, this look, would be very stiff, but it is not. It's a very fun ribbon. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna to attempt to cut this in a straight line. If you've watched me even once, you know that I rarely cut things in a straight line. But there's room for growth for all of us. And I was willing to take the challenge. So that, and then one of the really clever things they did was they put a little bit of red, no, well, I'm using Poppy Parade, behind the sentiment. And they even ran it down by the, um, down the length of this piece of DSP. I don't know that it adds that much, quite frankly, but we'll go ahead and do it. It's a good technique to have in your back pocket. Okay, so I wanna run a little snail on our sentiment here. And, oh, what? Your husband left it in the mailbox? He's going to get in trouble. Say, well, um, I made your lunch, but you know what? I left it in the car. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's trying to delay, you know? He's like, maybe she won't notice it if I just don't bring it in. Okay. So then this, I wouldn't have wanted to cut the paper, the red paper, separate from the sentiment, because why run the chance of, of cutting it wrong or needing to measure it? You don't need to measure it if you just like measure it against the white piece of cardstock. Okay, and then finally, I am going to use, well, I'm not gonna use dimensionals because I think someone forgot to order my um, supply manager or procurement manager forgot to order Stampin' Dimensionals and I was running pretty low. But you know what I have? I have some pieces of foam adhesive sheet, which I love, sometimes even more. So that's totally fine. That's what we're gonna use right now. <laughs> Put them in timeout. That's it. Okay, just for that, you can um, pay for my first order now. That comes out of your fund money. Okay, 
So I just kind of put this in here. I think it will stick. Yeah, because this, of course, is not solid. So, oh, and that even that even makes the ribbon do something totally different, right? It really kind of like makes it stand out. Hey, happy Canada Day to all my Canadian friends, by the way. I don't know a few of you have stuck, snuck on here. Lisa Kingdon, for one. So, happy Canada Day. I'm assuming it's a day off for you guys. Um, it's very close to our 4th of July, which is very nice. It continues the friendship, you know, that our two countries have. So, I like that we have this celebration close together. I don't think Canada Day is the same as 4th of July, but um, we probably both celebrate. Okay, so here I am just laying this down. You could do it either way. You could take the red and put it on the DSP, but basically that. Now, one thing I told my stampers is that when I am running a paper, and I know a lot of you do this too, but this is a good reminder. When I am running a paper, top to bottom or left to right, and I have no margin. So there's, you know, it's not like a mat. It's like, I want to cover the whole piece. If I can, I cut the paper a little bit longer. So this is probably a six inch paper. And then when we get done, we're going to obviously have overage, but then we can trim that off. And when you do that versus when you measure it, even if your card measurement is off, like, a 16th or a 32nd of an inch you can still trim this to make it look exactly the same right just a little I would say it's just what takes your cards up the next level a little bit you are welcome Denise so anyway that's what we're gonna do we're taking your card to the next level right and um, when I do that I kind of leave a little bit of the edges you know, I don't take the glue clear to the end. I'm just trying to keep it off of my scissors. But it's okay if you do. That's all right. So I am going to make sure that it is aligned directly over on the left, right? Get it burnished onto the front. And then trim. And then, like I said, even if my cutting was a little squirrely, or if the paper was, you know, for some reason. Measurements on a continuum, right? It's not like a finite. So you're always off a little bit. But that looks sharp. And look at this for an empty canvas. This is like kind of a blank canvas. You could do so many things with this now. You know, you could just put the sentiment on it and gather the strawberries around it. You know, we are playing up this like linear design, but you can do a ton of things with this. So keep that in mind. It's just one of those basic little, you know, run some DSP up along the side and then just start adding to it. Okay, now let's put our strawberries together. So instead of picking the stems off the strawberries, we're putting them on the strawberries. Yeah, that makes sense, right? It does in our world. Oh, <laughs> the procurement managers are Tango and Cash. God help me. Um, yeah, they're not the procurement managers. They are the consumers. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, speaking of. Oh, somebody's daring to drive their pickup in here. Get out of here, neighbors. We're a friendly crew around here, aren't we? <laughs> oh gosh only you and I know the conversations that I have out the window with the neighbors as long as they never watch these videos that's how it's going to stay okay so a little liquid glue takes care of that really quickly and there are our beautiful strawberries <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Perfect timing. He's quite a little ham. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to pick one and put it on the inside right now. It doesn't matter which one. They all look about the same. And 
give it a little glue. These are going to be glued directly onto the card, and then we're going to be popping the sentiment up on those on some foam sheet. So the rest of them are just going to get glued down. Now, I kind of knew how to center the or how to place these because of the catalog, right? Um, otherwise, I might put my sentiment down first and then place the strawberries around it. But I've made a few of these, like I said, so I kind of already know where everything goes. Now for this one, I'm just going to, I didn't glue underneath, I didn't put glue underneath the stem because I'm going to put the, this strawberry underneath it. And I want to have a little wiggle room. Okay. Oh, it looks so cute looks delish, doesn't it? Now, another thing you could do is you could, of course, use a different sentiment and use, um, you know, it could be a lot longer. It could be a little bit fancier. I do like that um, they used just a straight-sided sentiment for this so that you really keep your eye on the strawberries. They are the show-off on this page, aren't they? Happy birthday, you sweet thing. Okay, and then finally you just trim this to your liking. I might do it even, no, I'll leave it that, that's fine. I was gonna say I might do it even shorter, but it's sweet. Okay, there's our happy birthday, you sweet thing card. Oh my, don't you love it? I hope you all make this. And again, you can make this in a different color because you can make pink strawberries or whatever. <laughs> yes, this is the whipped cream over here, Roz. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Okay, we'll see you later. You can totally watch on replay. That's allowed. Okay, so that was one of our cards. And actually, um, at several of the ladies, this was like the one that they said was their favorite. So I always like to find out what's their favorite. And someone said something to me that was interesting this time. Andy, I said, you know, which is your favorite card? And she said to me, my favorite to make or my favorite to look at? And I thought, well, I said both. And they were different. <laughs> and I thought, huh, I don't know that I've ever made the distinction before. So then I was asking everyone that, of course. It was very fun. Okay, so there's our strawberry cards. I am going to clear the deck just a tiny bit. We're going to go on a completely different color combo now. Completely different stamps. And we're going to use dyes. So this was, I like to give a nice variety at my class. Um, unless it's a class where we are focusing on a theme, right? Those are, that's not my regular stamp camp. My regular stamp camp is to come and learn techniques and use as many different products as you can without, you know, blowing your mind <laughs> while still keeping the projects doable and approachable. So now this one is very pretty. I, I mean, I don't even know if you would just call it pretty, but um, you can decide. We are going to feature the Sweet Symmetry Paper. This paper also, by the way, is on sale this month. It's 15% off. And it, along with, I think, eight of its friends, eight other DSP packs, are on sale 15% off. So this paper doesn't even cost you 10 bucks. How about that? And um, this is the beautiful color, um, what I want to say, it's the beautiful colors that are in it. Basic white, bumblebee, Clipso coral, flirty flamingo, night of navy, and just jade. And so again, it's called Sweet Symmetry. It actually has a different stamp set that, that coordinates with it. But we're going to use Batik Boutique along with the Batik um, dies. And these are kind of a trip. How many different things you can do with them. They're so fun. So, um, actually, let me grab one other card I made with this. It was a thank you card. Let me see if I have it. 
Cash, what are you doing? Yes, I'll come help you out pretty soon. I'll come help you out pretty soon. Yes. So if you purchased, if you purchased from me last month, I sent you this thank you card. And so it's paper piecing. And we have the great uh, adhesive sheets. And so really I just made this cardstock all like a sticker. And it went together really great, and I did use some more of that sweet symmetry paper. I just feel like it really, um, this stamp set complements it just as much as the actual symmetry stamp set. So give it a try. <laughs> I know you might need that stamp set, Kathy, wow. for sure. So anyway, this was really fun to put together. Again, um, a basic white card, and this is one of the stamps that I just can't get over. It's so neat. Just this stamped on a quarter sheet of DSP would be a beautiful background. Um, I looked this up because I didn't want to be completely ignorant or I don't know. I wanted to learn something because it's kind of like batik, the word batik. It's one of the, those words where uh, I know it when I see it. And I'm like, well, maybe I should do better than just knowing it when I see it, right? So it's actually an Indonesian art form. And of course it's about, you know, designs and nature and um, it's usually on fabric. So you may have a shirt or a scarf or a piece of jewelry that has been inspired by batik or is a batik pattern. So anyway, it's always kind of fun, right? Oh, Kathy, you got this today. Nice. Okay, so um, this is photopolymer, right? Which is very handy for this one um, because there's some stamping that needs to be done in the right order, uh, but it's very easy. So there's some two-step stamping here, but trust me, it just kind of fits together. And then you've got all these great dies that, let me see if I can kind of show you. So um, this die, goes here, right? This gets stamped inside that main image if you want it. That's how I've done this. That's how the card we're making tonight, this card, um, I stamped inside it and then die cut it, okay? And then um, this, of course, is a little die cut, as you can see on this card. But you also get a die cut for this Okay, you get the die cut for this really cool flower. And this can be stamped on top of that. See all of these like, these interlocking pieces. This one is so good for that. Let's see, this little, these two little things are fantastic and you can use them in any stamp set really. But I've actually used them on this stitch rectangle right back here. And then, let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have the leaves. And the leaves are just like the flowers. So you have the, like a simple image of the leaves and then you have something you can put inside. So they all kind of go together and then you have these extra die cuts, right? Of this very fantastic leaf. This thing actually fits, well, I'll just cut one out and show you, but it's really cool. And then this is the piece that I used to make this. Thank you. I cut it out. I cut this entire image out once in Flirty Flamingo. Okay. And then once in Night of Navy. And then I just used pieces and parts. And so I didn't waste them. Oh, I wish I would have, I wish I would have grabbed another card, but Half of my cards were pink with blue on the inside, and the other half of my cards were blue with pink on the inside. So you don't end up wasting any of those pieces. And of course, once you figure out the color combo you like, it coordinates. So it's really not that difficult. The key is using adhesive sheets on your cardstock. Then it's just like a sticker book. It's really kind of fun. Okay, so since it's so much fun, um, let's just, you know, get into it. 
Oh, Kathy, it was kind of a wild purchase for me too. I don't know about a wild, but it caught my eye, right? And then I was like, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I like it. Yes, I too. Okay, so, oh, here are those things. Look at these. You could probably use them for something else, almost like a comment bubble or something. And, oh my gosh, just when I did that, is Jill Peterson on here? She might not be. You guys, I'm telling you right now, this is your new gnome beard and mustache right here. This is it. Don't you think? <laughs> I, was I was wondering if Jill was on here because remember last year we made the gnomes and we called them, um, uh, we named them after her husband. I'm drawing a blank right at Chuck. We named the gnomes Chuck. But um, this could very well be a beard and a mustache. So keep that in mind. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, so what it really is meant to do is it covers up this piece and just makes an extra layer of design, right? It also almost makes this look like a peacock. So I think if you like drew something on this that was the peacock head, you would have a really cool little peacock that you could kind of mass produce. So there's a couple of ideas for you. Now, suddenly, this that Kathy said was kind of a wild purchase seems like a really versatile purchase, doesn't it? Yeah. They're all like that. I've got news for you. All the Stampin' Up! stuff is like that. <laughs> Which is why we love it so much. Okay, so now that we've kind of talked about it, I did want to spend a few minutes on that because I do think, um, just like I told you, when I first got it, I was like, okay, a little different for me. Um, but let's, oh, we don't have anything to die cut yet, Lisa. Silly. Okay, so we are gonna die cut a rectangle and that's just one of our stitched rectangles. And then I am going to stamp this on regular cardstock because I want to put this one up on dimensionals, not stick it down flat. If I wanted to stick it down flat, of course I would use this piece. This is white on the back because I've attached uh, the adhesive sheet to it, okay, to essentially make it a sticker. All right, so I need our beautiful stamps. I didn't think this needed the paper piercing that it wasn't so essential but that doesn't matter I'm still gonna use it okay and let's see do I have another one I do all right and this is great nice storage if you haven't seen this yet on the newer photopolymer sets they now um, come with the images on the inside. And so you can get rid of all that acetate, crinkly acetate if you want to, and um, just stick it down directly to the case. And then also it's really kind of nice because then you know which pieces are not in your stamp case before you put this away, right? So I know to go looking for these two stamps and clean them and get them in the case before I put it away. Kind of nice. Now, I think the way I like to do this two-step stamp, if I recall, is I like to stamp the inside part first. This is Knight of Navy, my arch nemesis that wants to get all over everything I own. But I'm not going to let it tonight. If you step off, oh, isn't that fun? Don't you love that? I love it. Just that is beautiful. So every little image in the stamp set is like that because it's just really fun. Okay, so that guy, and then let's go ahead and bring this in. It's not essential if you're die cutting it, but I do need to bring this towards me, right? Because I'm trying to stamp around those images. So what I kind of do is I find these 
okay, when I'm looking through, I can see that I'm just down at the bottom of the camera. So I am gonna like come up over this now. I find those, let's see if I got it. Oh, yeah, very close. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but then you get that part. So that's how that looks. I'm actually gonna just do it without the image now that I see that because I am die cutting it. But if you wanna stamp it, then that's how you do it. And you could color all of these pieces. This almost looks like a lotus design, doesn't it? It might be, I don't know. Oh gosh, okay, Roz, take cover. Oh my gosh, is that not crazy? Kathy Sheely's been eyeing this set too. See, it's a Kathy IE set. So is Kathy Sanford looking at it also? Kathy Sanford, come in, Kathy Sanford. That's why, you know, those Kathys, they have a big responsibility because I call on them sometimes. So they can't be slacking. <laughs> not really. Once you pop on, you are not required to stay the whole time, but I just like it. Yeah, I might be chatting with you and then, you know. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Um, I need a sentiment and I'm gonna take, this hello there is from that strawberry set. Uh, but I'm gonna make this into a birthday card, right? And so let me see. I don't think I wanna use the happy birthday you sweet thing. I could easily mask it though. And I do like this uh, script with this design. Let's see though, is it too long? I mean, is it too, oh, it's kind of too long. Well, let's cut the rectangle and let's see if maybe we wanna do it this way. I don't know, I think, I think I can tell right off. That's probably not a good idea. We'll grab another happy birthday, that's all right. We can expand our horizons. And you know what, I bet I can find, back behind me, I bet I can find a uh, happy birthday sentiment without much trouble. <laughs> yes, bras, my goodness. Crazy storms, west to east. Okay, let's bring in the standard Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Gotta get it, gotta have it. And um, the plates. What I'm cutting, you could definitely cut on the small one, but I have the papers sized for the larger one and you know, I didn't want to cut them tonight. Sometimes I feel like cutting them. Tonight, I just don't. The other thing I need, uh, let's see. Well, I'll go with this. I kind of forgot my, my train of thought got zapped. So we want this, right? And if you feel like it's unsteady there, which I kind of do, I'm gonna put it down with a little bit of post-it note because there's a lot of curvy lines there, aren't there? Yes, so here we go. Now we've got it. Okay, now we're good to go. I have a question for you while I'm die cutting this. Um, if luck be a lady tonight. I am supposed to get my Stampin' Up! order of new pre-order products tomorrow. Are you guys still interested in watching unboxings? Is this fun and informative to you or do you, or do you have unboxing overload? Because I'm more than happy to come on, but I don't want to be, you know, I don't know if that'll be repetitive because um, I did. it's gonna be tomorrow night. But um, would you like to watch that or do you just want me to like, you know, hit the ground running and start creating with the, with the products a little bit? You tell me and then when I'm reading the comments tonight, I will know what to do. Now this one we are gonna make out of our sticker paper because we are going to put it directly onto the other image and so even this hat even though this has an extra layer it still cuts out really great. Kathy enjoys unboxing. Okay. 
Well, I know I sure like mine personally, and I do watch them, actually. I want to see <laughs> if there's if somebody has actually bought anything that I didn't buy, um, what it might be, you know, what things look like, what people's impressions are. But um, I thought I would, I thought I would ask, you know. And also, if you want to see anything in particular, um, if I have it, I will do some creating with it. So, of course, if you are if you're a demonstrator, you will know. But if you are um, not a demonstrator, you don't know what's in the catalog yet. <laughs> but if you do have an idea of something that you want to see in particular or watch me make a quick card out of, of it or something like that, then just let me know. All right, let me find my rectangle. I'm suddenly having a little bit of fear that I didn't put the rectangle back. Can that be possible? No, it's not possible. They're all put back to bed where they're supposed to be. So I think I know which one I used, but just in case, perfect. Okay, so this is just some standard basic white, not thick. And I like to give it a little angle, right? Because then you don't create a speed bump through your die cut machine or on your hands. Okay, this is sounding good. Everybody says, yeah, I might like to watch. Don't be crazy. We want to see what you got, right? Well, I'll tell you, I loved the catalog, if that's any indication. I don't know if I ever don't love it, but I super loved it. <laughs> I super loved it this time. <laughs> so, and also, beginning in August, it's celebration. Yes, you heard me right. We're having two celebrations this year, right? Stampin' Up! said, you know what, after 2020, you deserve two celebrations. And so that's going to begin, and so I'm going to have several of the celebration products. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, well that's great. I'm glad to hear. Um, then I'm, then that'll be fun. I'm happy to come on. So if it comes in, in time for me to go live about 7 o'clock tomorrow night, then I will do that. Otherwise, it will be um, sometime on Saturday. Now, I did order it for next day shipping, but you know, there's no guarantee. So, but of course, if, if it comes here at like at 10:30 at night, we're not doing it tomorrow night. <laughs> I'm no good to you at 10:30. Trust me. All right. So I do have a card base. Oh, and I even have the paper. I think we got it. We got it. Okay, so this is Bumblebee, which is really, it's just, it immediately grew on me and now it just keeps growing on me. All right, so I have a card base here with this cool paper. <gasps> Look at it, and a little bigger design. Either side, this is one of the reasons why I used this paper for the class, is because either side works like a charm with this stuff. So this paper got a little manhandled. It was the last poor little paper in there, but I think I can use it. Let me see. I may have to use it for die cutting. Hmm, I think I'm just going to cut a new one, right? I'm going to go ahead and cut a new one. And I do need an insert though, which looks great. So the other ones, I'm just leaving them all together because I love the color palette. They go with the Sweet Symmetry DSP and they already have adhesive sheet on them. So I'll get to them. Don't worry. Okay, let's see here. That will be. Um, 
the other orientation, that's fine. The layout's going to be exactly the same. So don't let that hold you up. Okay. Oh, I forgot that one little stamp. Okay. And I really, really, really enjoy a card that's been folded with the bone folder. It just lays, it behaves, right? Oh, behave. And it does. All right. Now I get to stamp a few things, which is super fun. I had some scrap paper sitting around here. Remember that? It was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, brother. Where are you? No problem. Let's see. Put those away. Whatever, we just need this. Okay, and I am gonna grab that same little design because it's just so pretty. Maybe I should do the leaves though. Maybe I should give the leaves a chance. All right, let's try the leaves. Let's do the leaves in um, Flor de Flamingo, just because we can. They'll get, and I haven't used them yet, so that'll give us a little more practice with these cool stamps. Okay. So again, I think I'm going to do the inside first and follow it up with the outline part. Uh, where do you find bingo? The celebration items are awesome. They are awesome, aren't they? They are, Sherry. It's a little secret you and I have. They're good. <laughs> okay. Woo. That stamp set feels inky. All right. No practice or anything. I'm just going to lay it down. <gasps> That's pretty. Except I forgot something I was going to do, which is I was going to stamp it off. So let's try this. Okay. in here so these stems are going to go right up the middle of your design and then just look at the pointy parts and everything else it looks like kind of falls into place right let's see if that's really true oh it's true okay so that's kind of pretty isn't it you could do that all up the side of the card would be really nice and I'm going to bring this up here because you can see, even though this is second generation ink, you can see all those tiny dots that make it look like batik. Stamp it up doesn't miss a trick, do they? Oh, hi, Donna. How are you doing? Donna has talked to me more than she wants to in the last few days, I'm sure. But, you know, I just love her and she inspires me so much. So, everybody say hi. Okay, let's see here. Now, I'm liking that. So now let's bring in that little stitched rectangle that I made, remember, for the front. And like I told you, I'm just gonna use those little stamps that are the cute circles that you can stamp inside of each other. But I didn't even bother doing that, right? I was too excited to even worry about doing that. I just stamped them kind of like all together. So let's put that one on. This is a little bit bigger than I might like to have on this block, but that's okay. So then I just took this. Now this is why I think these stamps you could use for anything. They're so cool. Look at those. Are those adorable? So I'm just kind of position, repositioning the stamp as I come around here and do some various pink circles. Now, <laughs> you're very kind. Good, Donna. I appreciate that. <laughs> I hope your work went well. Okay, so now we're just going to bring in the bumblebee, okay, because I can't get enough. Love it. And um, we also want to echo that color, right? We're just like dealing with three colors, and we're just doing it over and over again in the stamps, in the 
um, well not the stamps, but in the inks and the paper. And um, then it just creates this really homogenous look. It's really like fancy. That's what I would call it. It's just fancy. Okay, and of course you don't have to color the whole thing. I did leave a little white space, believe it or not. That's very unlike me, right? I usually like gild the lily and then gild it again. But um, even I know when to stop. And then finally, like I said, I'm going to grab a little birthday sentiment. Just give me like a millisecond. Oh gosh, the hounds are circling. It's time for an S-N-A-C-K. Oh gosh, you guys. Oh, this looks pretty. Okay, boy, we scored. How about happy birthday from the Pansy Patch set? Let's take a look at the size of it. That's the only thing. Now this is, a, look at that. It's almost a virgin stamp set. This is a stamp set that needs to see some action. G-rated action. I need to use that. Maybe next week. <gasps> Look! It was MFEO. Made for each other. Okay, so I'm going to get the navy. Navy, be kind to me. Don't be naughty like Gidget Louise. Oh, good job, Donna. Good job. And thank you for the segue. I have several of you little smarty pants that now subscribe to Chopped so you don't have to worry about the deadline anymore because you are on my automatic list. However, if you have not Chopped with us ever before, or if you are not a subscriber, if you just join when you have time, please join me. We have a fun, whoa, we have a fun little set of supplies for you this month and um, so I will be taking um, taking your orders for that through the fifth so please sign up for the kit if you have not yet you can do that um, at the stamping zoo.com or you can call me or email me you know what I'm just kind of funny that way oh that looks great doesn't it I love it all right so now I think are we at the assembly stage Oh, we're at the assembly stage. Okay. And yes, it's 8.20. That's why the dogs were coming around because you know, 8 p.m. Maybe Thursday night isn't their favorite night, but it's my favorite night because I make them wait. Hear the little clickety clacks in the background. You're fine, children. They eat. So they eat cookies at breakfast. They eat lunch, which is crazy, but they do. Um, they eat dinner, and then they eat snacks. Uh, now tell me these aren't my children. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, Kathy, I shipped you over the edge. What, what did it for you, Kathy? Tell me. <laughs> I need to know what it was that you saw where you were like, all right, that's it. I have to have it. You've got to get some of this paper. I want everyone to run and get it because it's so gorgeous. You know, it's kind of, I know, um, it kind of reminds me of Baltic designs and Scandinavian designs. And rumor has it, it's not a rumor, it's been announced. Um, the Stampin' Up! Incentive Trip, not this year, but the next year, is going to be a Baltic cruise. <gasps> Wouldn't you love to do that? I know I would. I am gonna work. I'm gonna work for it. That's for sure. Uh, let's see here. I need my take your pick tool. Who has been playing with that? Someone has. Here it is. Oh, lucky. Okay, so the other cool thing about this, it doesn't really um, make a big difference with these die cuts, but when you put adhesive sheets on the back, it removes a lot of the die cut, the little, you know, little negative pieces. So you don't even have to roll them really. It's really nice for that. Now this is really simple because the bottom of this lines up with the bottom of the blue die cut. So there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's right here. See that? And then I'm gonna bring it in. 
I'm sure the perfect piece, oh, right there, the perfect piece of this foam adhesive sheet, like one of the greatest inventions in Stampin' Up! history. And then we're gonna put this right on the back, okay? And pop it up. First, I'm gonna adhere this sentiment, I guess. So I'm gonna adhere this down flat. And uh, for now, I'm gonna put it in the center because it is symmetry, right? However, if you wanna flip that on its head, you could put it down in the corner. In fact, yeah, we're gonna flip it on its head, right? To line this up and sit it straight because of that. So it's really nice. I need that help at night. Oh my goodness. Oh, so beautiful. It needs some jewelry though. So I am gonna grab the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Gems. These are good to have all year round, but they and they are in the annual catalog. So they came out again. They were in a mini catalog around Christmas time. And they were so great that they just never left. I love it when we do that. So here they are right here, these beautiful Knight of Navy rhinestones. Check it out. And you have all these other colors though. Pool party. Um, I don't remember what the dark green is. Probably shaded spruce. I don't remember. Maybe tray cobbler. Maybe Cajun craze. But they go with the other colors, right? Like you could still use this yellow with bumblebee. Even though it isn't technically bumblebee. Right? We don't always have to be matchy-matchy. Okay, that is a pretty card that's gonna be, it's gonna make somebody in July really happy, isn't it? One of my July people really happy. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, this was so much fun. You guys, it was just what I needed, right? Like I told you before. Now let me grab our strawberry card and then we can take a look at what we created tonight and we can feel really happy about it. <laughs> so, if you now would like batik boutique or sweet strawberry, let me know if you're in the United States. You know what? I would love to be your demonstrator. I will do my very best to earn your business and treat you really special. Yes. And remember when you order with me through the summer, um, I am going to put your name into a drawing. So like I said, once I get 60 more dollars, we're gonna have our first drawing and it is going to be for a $30 gift certificate of product. So if you wanna get in on that, um, hey, no time like the present, right? Okay, everyone, thank you so much. I've had such a good night with you and um, thank you for listening and thank you for your great comments. You know I'm going to go through all of them when I get off of here. And um, that's one of the best times I have is answering your questions, laughing along with you. And um, so, you know, if you have anything at all that you'd like me to uh, answer about these cards or the products, please just let me know. All right, my friends, it was so nice to see you again this night. And uh, like I said, if, um, if the FedEx man or woman is very kind to me tomorrow, you'll probably see me tomorrow night too. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. I appreciate you.